Oh, I wish I, sh I should do a video on one of these girls. You don't see them too often. This is a um, a Victor Commodore. This is about the very early 80s, just before they went to a power torque. This is one of the last of the uh, full crank engines, where they have a bearing on the top and two bearings down the bottom. They later went to a half crank engine, which is a power torque. If you see my other video of me and my mate trying to fix one, that's what that top engine is. Okay. These are the last of the line of the VC. It started in the early 70s. Uh, of the 160cc variety of these engines. They were originally designed off the old 125 tow cutters. Which were the older style Victors you know, you'll find around. Now these are pretty robust engines. They use the same piston. Oh, actually, the pistons are different in these. The original pistons have small vent uh, windows in them because they're a window piston, but the later power torques have a wider window so you can actually retrofit these in. This one's slightly modified. I've actually got a high compression head on these off a, um, a silver streak and a high flow muffler and the uh, next size of jet. So this is actually a bit more punch. This is around about a five to six horsepower two stroke. So four strokes, that's probably, you're talking about probably a six, seven horsepower in a four stroke. Uh, well, I found this at the local tip, you know, it has a lot of chrome left on it. Uh, these are distinct to the catches because the catches are only for these ones. Some kind of the older catches will kind of fit sometimes, but you've got to double check that. It's the model VG183A1, if you're interested. He's laid up. Not for sure you can see that. Hey. Zoom in. Oh no, not good enough. There you go. Quiet bird. These ones are distinct. These 80 series are distinct to having the starter on the side. For some reason, these, these were made, they designed the, the jig to do this, the full through here, but they never made it, which is odd. But you could actually fit an old style cup starter, or zip starter off the earlier VCs. But these are side, side starter. Because these actually have a different flywheel to the VC. These have a shorter, stumpier flywheel with teeth cast into it. Well, the early VCs had a higher fin design. You look under the casting, the engine's still exactly the same. Uh, they are machine, you know, they are cast in a way that you can still see the compact contact points in them. The early VCs had contacts. I think up into the series, is it 70 series, which the mode model before this had. Uh, points. I think the last, the Mark IVs, had electronic ignition, but don't quote me on that. But these 80 series definitely do, and a lot of this 80 series gear and this, like all the coils and stuff like that, will bolt onto an earlier motor, and you can convert them over to electronic ignition. That's if you please, you know. The handlebars are different on these. So this one doesn't fold down. The earlier ones. Like, because they have different models here. Some of the earlier ones, they used to fold right up twice again. So this handle will have a kink here. So that will fold right and that will fold down again. So you can fit in that little cubby house, cubby hole in your window or of your bottom of your house. Uh, this one just has the standard buckles lay it down. You know, the, but the earlier ones used, used to just push them over they had springs on them and actually you can adjust the height where you wanted your things to sit you know i might convert this over to one of them by modifying one of these handlebars so they get a hold of a nice clean, clean set you know, these look a bit alien like these, these covers they all come in different sizes so the bases uh the power torque if you saw that video had a press deck um, they ran the same in these 
the Sierra. Now this is right on the turn of the power torque to the sorry the foot yeah, the turn over to the power torque from these engines. But now they tend to name you know names are common Australian names that they use elsewhere, like the Commodore. That's an Australian uh, sedan actually in the 80s when this came out the Commodore was only just st starting to be made and that was actually a Opel car a two-seated four-door so a four four-seated two-door Opel from Germany which we modified in terms of the Commodore you know yeah there's one of the last ones right there that's a VE good car on the 3.8 Buick a lot of milk, I don't know that. Um, there was also a Manalo, which you know, which is also an Australian Holden sport car. I don't know if they made a Falcon, but they also made one called a Corvette and a Corsair. So, anything's possible. I think they follow the GM names. These are 160cc engines. You know, this, they're very pokey engines, they're very ro robust. They are a two cycle. Make sure it's doing flame, yep. And the difference between these and their power torques is the cylinder head will come off if you undo these four bolts because their head, cylinder, and body are uh, three different parts. Then they clamshell together like that. They're built more like an old motorbike engine. They're pretty robust you know you've really got to destroy these to hurt them uh, I have seen it done but that's why we've got swing back blades you know Australians we hit things our lawn care is gum trees drop sticks like that we just mow over them uh, pull that cape cover off the covers of these are extinct for these engines them. Uh, the earlier ones had a two piece, so they actually fold down on a hinge, but Holden cheaped it out and made a, a single piece of these. You know, that would sit there as it was idling and it fold up so you can run under the pressure of this engine, plus the exhaust was vented down into the crank, so into the um, cutting deck. This would actually fold out and sit like that, so the grass would come straight out. It would never actually hold the grass. But uh, in light of safety things, they made it so it doesn't open like that anymore. Alright, let's try it again. I had made my alarm kicked off and stopped recording. Um, yeah, well, you had, diff you had different catches and stuff to it. Um, there was also a Mustang of this. I mentioned that for your Ford fans. There was a Mustang version of these uh, lawnmowers. I'll post a video, a, a picture of what it looks like. But, um, yeah, the carburetors on these, like what do they call a G4 carburetor? It's one of the first of these um, diaphragm pressure carburetors. How they work is the air will come through this, this way, the fuel will come in this way for this jet, which is removable on these. And this government is this. This air tube coming in, it goes straight to the, uh, off the flywheel. And that will tell you what speed it is by pulling the vacuum. And it'll set this governor spring, the governor plate in there, the tension of the spring. And that'll let so much fuel in, and that's how you set your uh, RPM governance on these. Uh, the later ones are called LM. They look exactly the same, but this cap's different. Some parts are interchangeable, but some parts are not. But what, what's different from them is they have a set spring. So by changing the spread, you know, the red could be a red, a white, a black, and that will bring the governance up to a higher level or a lower level. You're according to your jet. So you put a red one in it, it will go up an RPM, but you have to have a bigger jet in it to um, deliver the fuel or be running lean. But these are pretty rich from the battery. These are notoriously rich. Well, this one is an adjustable one. This is a very early one. This came out on the G. So this came out on the uh, 70 series Mark IV. The predecessor of these 80 series. But they're they're stinked by. They have a flat plate with none of this not on it, and that was cut. That came down to a, 
a spigot here on the um, on the deck and had a primer set to it, but they're very uncommon. Now these one the standard hose, the standard clamps, I've got an extra one there. And you've got one with a small filter, then you've got a larger filter, which is just longer. You can't convert these over to them if you have the, the case, the little box to go into. So they're pretty tough engines. So this has the high compression head and the, and the exhaust. Um, I'll skip this part if I haven't done it yet. I can't remember if I did show you or not, but these one the bigger wheels. Yeah, the Mustang, and these were a swing back deck, cutting deck. Right. Uh, the earlier ones are more of an oval shape. This is a later one, which had the fins cut into it up the top, folded up. Uh, these will pull up more air if you just fire them out. Yeah, you can pull these back like this. You, know, you can see there are a lot of a lot of room there. You can get your hands in there pretty easy. But they used to be an adapter for these, which to go on, they were side dis discharged straight off the back. Most of us just had this open, or we had an old cut, an old catch out with the bottom cut out. You know, everybody does their own thing. Yeah, this is what we refer to as a high arc deck. This is a fully cast deck and comes up, shoots right out. The earlier ones of these had a press deck, they're made of steel. They used to rust up here in the corner. If you see that video of me and my mate pulling one apart, that's what that deck is. So that was punched out for power torque. But the earlier ones of these had them too. That was the first low cost mower Victor made. The Victor lawn mowers are always too expensive. You, know, you, you had to be well off to have a Victor. But you know, people saved up and they got them. So I'm going to sit here and start this bugger. I've had it running just a second ago. Um, and then I found it, the video didn't run. Right. Very simple, stick in the start, put the fuel tap on, push it once. Some of them take forever to start, it's usually because they're worn out, or well, diaphragms have gone hard. But this, this old girl, you know, it's been with, we, we board, we sleep, and all that. So she's nice and tight. Okay. Not on track at the moment. Yeah. Not on track at the moment. So, uh, I'm going to just bring it over right here and I'll start cutting. Alright, this is very thick grass through here. I haven't made it for a while. So, it should be about that thick underneath. So, let me set up so you can see it a bit better. There you go. And away I go.
All right, now she's turned off. Uh, yeah, that's that's the good old-fashioned uh, Victor Commodore, and I had no problem cutting this stuff, you know. If I disconnect you from here. Come on. Now, now this stuff is very tough, you know. It's a mixture of fiscue and I, uh, I cure. But you, know, you can easily see it's a two inch cut. Never forget that was a domestic mower, you know. I could try cutting this with the Briggsy, but the Briggsy wouldn't have the, the nuts to do it. You know, this stuff's pretty loose up here, but when you get it, start getting up around towards the tree here, you know, this is the high cure. You know, it is thick runners, you know. Plus, you know, mowing, mowing stuff like sticks like this, take a run over that. You know, it will just crush them up like that. You know, we don't tend to pick up that stuff on, on the ground, it's big. You know, I'm going to finish mine all this. And, and be done. But the funny thing is, this came from Springvale Mower Mart. I grew up exactly around the corner from that. I used to be my local mower shop before I moved. That's probably 15 years ago. It's funny how these things come back around. Any questions, just ask. And no, it's not for sale.